Hey guys, so today's vlog is coming to you from my car. I'm parked up in a retail park while waiting for some friends and this is about the only chance I'm going to get to do today's vlog. But I figured it was a pretty shoddy effort if on day two of my haul I'm going to vlog for a month thing. I didn't vlog, so this one, yeah, I haven't even like topped up my makeup or fixed my hair or anything. I'm kind of straight from work and a flu jab. So there we go. Uh, today's prompt was I'm learning a new language and the story behind that is that I'm basically on a project in work where I'm going out to Germany for a week every month for the next couple of months. Um, it's a really exciting project. Um, it's all in English, but the t you know the team are all German. It's a German office. It's in Germany, so I figured it would be a good idea to you know learn some German to to help you out while I'm there. Um, I've been using Duolingo. Apparently, I'm 52% fluent. I wasn't convinced until kind of like my last couple of days there, the last time I was there, and I could actually understand most of a menu. That was a really, really cool feeling. <laughs> uh, my spoken German though is not so great. For most of the week I got by on, Sprechen Sie English bitte? Do you speak English please? And Entschuldigung, mein Deutsch ist nicht gut. I'm sorry, my German is not good. I'm not convinced about my accent either. The team told me it was okay. Uh, I don't know if it would just be nice, but yeah, it's actually been a really helpful tool, Duolingo, for my vocab. Um, like I said, I could understand most of a menu. Um, I was picking up quite a lot of things that people were saying, um, just listening. Even whole sentences, which was really nice, even if I couldn't have necessarily said the sentence myself on my own. Um, and I've even got and bought Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in German while I was out there. Um, because, you know, I know, I just, I'm such a Harry Potter nerd and I've got now Philosopher's Stone in German. I've got Chamber of Secrets in Spanish and that actually really helped me in my Spanish A-level exam. So, you know, kudos to that. Um, and I've got Prisoner of Azkaban in French because I also did French at A-level. So I've got a nice little foreign Harry Potter collection. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that it's going to help me out just picking up the vocab and things. And I managed to find the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone German audiobook on YouTube as well. So, you know, I'm using Harry Potter to learn a new language and I am totally not ashamed of that. Uh, compared, you know, um, not compared with, in collaboration with Duolingo, that's not the right word either. And I can't even edit this one because I'm on my phone, I don't have the right apps downloaded. Um, in conjunction with Duolingo, maybe that's the right wording I'm after. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of brain fried. It's been a really long day. I was in work for eight o'clock. You guys know what I'm trying to say. That, along with Duolingo, um, is hopefully going to get me up to a decent level of speaking. I mean, I'd at least be able to talk to some other Harry Potter fans, if nothing else. Um, but yeah, we'll see how the whole language thing goes. And if you guys have any tools or recommendations for apps, things like that, for learning a new language, uh, drop them in the comments, they, those would be really great to hear, or tweet me, I'm at Recalls on Twitter. Um, I think that's it, like I said, I can't really edit this video, so I've taken a couple of tries to do this one. Um, hopefully it's not too bad an effort, like I said, I'm doing it in my car as well, so a lot of people going past and just looking at me. Uh, there we are, I will see you guys tomorrow.